We are back now with an NBC News exclusive. Matt, you talked to NBA star Gordon Hayward, who suffered that devastating injury on the court. Yeah, yeah. I talked to him yesterday. He's a really nice young man. We should warn people who have yet to see this. It is very, very hard to watch. Hayward was making his debut as a Boston Celtic. It was the first game of the year mm -hmm. when he took a nasty fall and just suffered a gruesome injury, a badly broken and dislocated ankle. This is the guy that probably hit the biggest shot in Cavs. Isn't? My goodness. Hayward came down so hard. Okay. Hayward broke his leg. Oh, oh. Hayward has oh. broken his leg. Oh. Oh. Now, in his first interview since then, he opens up about what happened, the impact it's had on his family, and his inspiring push to come back stronger true. than ever. Right. Um, Gordon, how are you feeling? Um, I feel better today than I did yesterday. And that's kind of like my mindset right now, just trying to work through each day, um, trying to set little mini goals, you know, and, and trying to, to get on with it. That's physically, I think, you're referring to. Talk yes. to me about emotionally, because this was, this is not your typical injury. Right. Um, I mean, emotionally, it's, um, it, it's hard on me. I, I, uh, I love to play the, the game of basketball, and so to sit there and not be able to play, it gets kind of frustrating. Is there a certain mental trauma that you think is involved in this injury as well, just because of what you saw and what you felt? Uh... Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think I remember looking at it and it just, you know, it just doesn't look normal and didn't look right at all. That'll definitely be with me for forever to see, like, look down and see my foot like the wrong way. Um, and so that's, you know, something that I uh, try not to think about. Um, and it's my foot's facing the right way now. And so <laughs> you look down and say that looks a whole lot better. I still double check sometimes. <laughs> All right, away we go. So let's go back to the night. First game of the season. Mm -hmm. It's the season opener. You're brand new Celtic. This is a big deal. You're yeah. in Cleveland playing LeBron and the Cavs and you're five minutes into the season. What do you remember about the play? The biggest shot in Cavs history. They're going up. Oh my goodness. Taylor came down so hard. Oh. I remember you know, having a step on my defender and uh, he was kind of behind me, under me a little bit. And then um, LeBron kind of came over at the last second. And so there's just, you know, there's three people up in the air trying to get the ball. There's a sense in the air, like where you feel like you're off balance and you know you're going to come down hard. I've had that feeling before and for the most part, I'm able to kind of adjust. But for this instance, my foot was caught and there was nothing I could do. And then all of a sudden it hit me and it was like immense pain coming through. It felt like forever before the doctors and the trainers ran over because it just felt like for a moment there I'm just looking at it and it's just like, you know, this is, that's when I like, I grabbed my head like, oh no, this is not good. Um, and then when they finally popped it back into place, it, it hurt. And when they were carting me out, that's when it like, it hit me emotionally. Like, I got this wave of emotion, like, like, am I done? Like, is this, is this my career? Is this over? Have you seen the video? I've seen it, yeah. Have you seen the shots of the people in the crowd? Uh, yeah, I've seen some of them, like, like how, you know, everyone just like cringes a little bit and like they don't want to look. Other players were praying. I've seen, I've seen that too, which is pretty cool to see, for sure. I read that your parents were there. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine what it must have been like to be your parents watching what was happening to their son on the floor. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, as a parent, you don't want you don't want your child to go through that. And as a parent myself, it's like thinking I would rather take their pain. So I, you know, and this is where it makes me emotional because like I wouldn't want Bernie or Charlie to go through that. So sorry. They, it's okay. Uh, and I remember seeing my mom and it was, she's crying. And like, that's just tough. It's tough, tough to see your parents cry too. Cause then, you know, it makes you emotional. And we went back to the, their locker and we took x-rays. Um, you know, that's where they, they said you have a broken ankle. When you're sitting back in that room and the ice is all over you and they've told you you have a broken ankle, you know, this season's done. Mm -hmm. What's that like to digest? That was tough. And that's when, you know, Robin calls and I'm talking to Robin and she's trying to, you know, support me and says she wish she was there. And 
you know, God doesn't give you a challenge you can't handle. I think having the two little ones will really help me. They give you a little bit of perspective because they don't know what's going on. They just know daddy has a boo-boo. And so they, they like to decorate it with stickers and um, they like to, to give it a hug and a kiss because that's what we do when they get boo-boos. What do you want to learn through this experience? What have you already learned? I think it's, I'm going to come back better than ever, and I firmly believe that, but I know it's going to be a long and difficult process. So after oh. surgery, he was in the hospital, and his coach, Stevens, called and said, you need anything? He said, I want a basketball. And he sent <laughs> basketballs over, and he's been kind of handling a basketball <laughs> ever since. Before we did that interview, in that gym, he sat in his chair at half court you, taking shots you, like wow. this. Wow. He made wow. as many as I made. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But he says on other days he makes quite a few from the chair. <laughs> wow. I mean, what a, what a thoughtful. Super young man. Yeah. Beautiful. Boy, watching him talk about his kids and his parents, really. That was everything. Yeah. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.